From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Hi, folks. Welcome back to the Storm and Cellar. Today we'll take a look at Full Metal Jacket. Now, I attended U.S. Air Force basic training in 1975, but I have many friends that served in the Marine Corps, went to Paris Island for boot camp, and then served in combat in South Vietnam. So I'm going on both their and my experiences here. So let's take a look at these clips from the movie, and I'll give you my thoughts. And if you don't mind, go ahead and uh, click the like button, follow the channel, and click the bell to be notified of future videos. Paris Island, South Carolina, the United States Marine Corps Recruit Depot. Now, the movie was based on Paris Island, South Carolina, but there are uh, Marine recruit depots or boot camps located in both Paris Island, South Carolina, and San Diego, California. You little scumbag! I got your name! I got your You will not laugh! You will not cry! You will learn by the numbers! I will teach you! Now get up! Get on your feet! The boot camp part was full of one-liners. Man, these Marine DIs must go to a special school to come up with the ability to fire off so many zingers. I am Gunnery Sergeant Hartman, your senior drill instructor. Rebelry, rebelry, rebelry. You will not like me. <laughs> but the more you hate me, the more you will learn. Okay, the job of the Marine Corps boot camp is to make it so hard and tough that you can get a Marine to do what seems like the impossible in combat. Was slapping or punching a recruit condoned by the Marine Corps? No, but it did happen and the Corps looked the other way. When I was in basic training, I was slapped right through the face and lifted up and slammed into a wall with my legs dangling by the biggest T.I. I had ever seen. So it does happen. You, John Wayne, is this me? Who said that? Naturally, uh, Private Joker catches hell for this one. But to be honest, I never knew anyone who had had the cojones to say anything like that. Everyone was too darn scared of the T.I.s. From now on, you will speak only when spoken to. And the first and last words out of your filthy sewers will be, sir. Do you maggots understand that? Sir! Yes, sir! PT or physical training is extremely rigorous and prepares the recruit for combat. I was at basic in San Antonio, Texas in June, and it was hot. So doing push-ups on hot asphalt pads, running in the heat of the day, or uh, doing the obstacle course was really fun. An eight-week college for the phony tough and the crazy brave. That is not your daddy's shotgun, cowboy. Private Joker is silly and he's ignorant. Foot Locker inspections were everyday occurrence and uh, a way for the TIs to throw your crap all over the place. I tried to game the system. Toothpaste was pearl drop so there wouldn't be any paste in the cap. I showered with shampoo so that my soap never had any scum or hair on it. And I replaced my razor after every shave with a clean one and carried uh, my used one with me all day long. You're not allowed to sit on your rack or bunk until five minutes before lights out. And of course, quite often you were tapped for latrine or head, head duty and uh, it had to be clean enough to eat off of. Most of you will go to Vietnam. Some of you will not come back. During the war in Southeast Asia, most of these guys did go to Vietnam and many didn't come back. In fact, 500,000 went to war, 13,000 uh, were killed and 89,000 wounded. I need help. I'm trying to help you, man. Yep, in every boot camp, there's a screw up. You try to pull them along at first, but then it really starts to become a drain on everyone when they're being punished for the behavior of that guy or gal. Are those live rounds? Seven, six, two millimeter. Full metal jacket. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My rifle is my best friend. It is my life. Of course, in the Air Force, we didn't have weapons assigned to us, but the Marines did. 
and I'm sure it might be easy to slip away with a round or two from the firing range, but a whole magazine would have been fairly difficult. The range guys were pretty particular about ammo accountability. I also noticed they have M14 rifles, which was the preferred weapons until 1967 when they started phasing them out. But by 1970, most were using M16s. The enemy has very deceitfully taken advantage of the Tet ceasefire to launch an offensive all over the country. In Saigon, the United States Embassy has been overrun by suicide squads. Quezon is standing by to be overrun. The lieutenant uh, is talking about the Tet Offensive here of 1968, which was a coordinated series of attacks throughout South Vietnam by most regular NVA or North Vietnamese Army, uh, and then some um, uh, Viet Cong as well. Although the NVA was defeated, most say this was the turning point in the war, where Americans and the press began to turn against the war itself. Walter Cronkite even reported that the war was not winnable. And if Walter says it, it must be true. Also, the slow action from the South Vietnamese government resulted in the Vietnamese people turning against President Thieu. We also have reports that a division of NVA has occupied all of the city of Hue south of the Perfume River. In strategic terms, Charlie's cut the country in half. The battle for the city of Hue uh, was the longest and bloodiest battle in during Vietnam. The siege by the NVA and Viet Cong resulted in almost 3,000 civilian deaths and almost 5,000 civilians were executed by the communists. In 1942, Marines were killed and almost 1,400 wounded or missing in action. Okay, great movie. I could definitely relate to much of it, but of course the Marines boot camp is much tougher than the other services and for good reason. Again, hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and leave your comments about the movie and especially your experiences in the Marine Corps boot camp. So until next time, make sure your takeoff and landing's equal.